Hello everyone, I'm your host Andre and welcome back to How to Build a Prusa i3 3D Printer Part 7. So in today's tutorial I will show you how to build a filament spool holder, how to calibrate the 3D printer and actually we are going to do our first print. So we'll start with the filament spool holder. We need the four remaining acrylic parts, four M525 mm screws, four M5 nuts, eight M5 shins, and eight single rollers. So let's start building. First we'll take one acrylic part and two screws, put them like this. Then we'll put one shim on each side and two single rollers on each screw. After that another shim on each screw and then the acrylic part comes on top and we will screw it in place. Now that we finish building the filament spool holder, let's calibrate the 3D printer. To calibrate everything, I will use a bubble level. So, we'll start here. Here seems everything to be fine. And here, I could like let it a bit more on this side. Okay. Let's see if the nozzle is straight. Seems okay. Let's see the z-axis. So we could do it a little better. Something like that. So now let's get the nozzle very close to the hot bed and see if it's even everywhere in the front. So is it still okay? Looks very good. Now let's see if this part is okay. Just a bit more on this side. Okay. Now let's see everything from an angle.
It seems that we have calibrated everything, which means that we can start printing. In order to print, I have installed the provided repetitive software with a slicer program and I've done the configuration for ABS 1.75 mm. Here I have just loaded a STL file. This STL file represents the index finger from the InMove robot. You can find more details in the description below. In order to print, I have prepared the hotbed with some tape provided in the kit and I will uh, put some glue on the surface so that the objects will stick to it and won't just peel off. Now we need to slice the objects that are about to be printed in the repetitive software and after that we can just start printing. So now that it is ready, it should look something like this. So let's start printing. See? This is why you shouldn't use tape. Now let's kill the print and get rid of the heat. Now we will apply glue directly on the hot bed. Let's restart printing. As you can see the print is finished. This concludes the how to build the Prusa i3 3D printer series. I will also make a troubleshooting video where I will show you how I configured the software and the 3D printer.
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this series, make sure to leave a like and please subscribe. Have a nice day.